What kind of mutant burritos are you feeding this guy? What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Black Mamba Tank Mega Commander! So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. You can see it's a very, very large box, and right up front, we have a very nice piece of artwork there of the Tank Mega Commander, aka Megatron, on side of the box. The Tank Mega Commander on this side of the box. We have a uh, explosive. It's explosive. Up here we have warning. Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very, very bad for you. On the top, we have the Tank Mega Commander. On the bottom, words and things and stuff that I cannot read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, things, stuff, stuff, and things. And we can open up the front flap here. And we have another big product shot there of the Tank Mega Commander. And right here is where the figure sits. Tank Mega Commander, Mega Commander, bloody, 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 things and stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. Man, moving right along, here we have the Tank Mega Commander. Now, this is an upscaled knockoff of the Studio Series Voyager Class Megatron with, you know, some new bits and pieces, some new odds and ends, and uh, yeah. Here he is in his tank mode, as you can see, all of it done in a very, very nice silver. Just really pops, just really pops. It's a poppin' Megatron, a poppin' poppin' Megs. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that beautiful face just staring at you as he mows you down. Hi, how are you? I'm gonna kill you now. Have a nice day, even though you won't. Anyway. But uh, it's, it is accurate, can't complain because it is accurate. But um, you can see the treads here have some nice gold detailing in them. Lots of nice silver. You get some of this really nice metallic blue in there as well. You get some more of that gold up top. You got the big cannon right up front. Some more gold in there. You got some more gold, some more of those nice metallic blues. You got some new bits back here, these new thrusters. Again, with that nice metallic blue in them. Got nice little spindly fingers hanging out the back here. Got these smaller guns. Again, some nice detailing there on the treads with the silver and the gold in there. All around. Looks great. Looks great, in my opinion. He does have the uh, rolling wheels, so you can roll him around, and he rolls. Eh, he rolls okay. He rolls all right. He rolls just about as good as the original toy did, so yeah. Not too much of an improvement there as far as the rolling goes, but still looks great. Then for comparison, here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Prime. So you can see how they look together. That looks quite good, in my opinion. Anyway, I like it. I like it. Here he is with the old Leader Class Megs. You can see how that works out, and this one definitely looks way, way better, in my opinion, anyway. And here he is with the original Studio Series Voyager Megs. You can see just how much they upscaled this figure. So there you have that. Now on this version of the toy, they did give him his, uh, his flight mode. And to do that, just come back here. Take these little wings, bring them out a little bit. They're on a slider, so you slide them back. And you got this little tab here. Just tabs in to lock it in place. Fold out the wing. And you take this little front wing right here. You flip that out. Come to the other side. And do the same thing. Just take this, bring this back. This one's a lot stiffer. Come on. Come on. There we go. Tab that in. Flip that out. Flip that out. There you go. So there you have the uh, the flying tank mode, which is cool. It works. You can see it reveals more of that detail in there in the treads with the silver and the golds and the blacks and all that good, beautiful looking stuff. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I dig that. I dig that. He does come with one accessory, but that is meant for robot mode. And speaking of which, let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's! Let's! He's big. You can't really spin him. But... 
Let's get down to it. So the first thing we want to do is flip these wings back in. So just fold this in, untap that, slide that forward, bring that down. Fold, untab, slide, slide. This one is so tight. I mean, really tight. Like this one's kind of stupid tight. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, bring that down. Fold these down, up front. Okay, now we can begin. So, first thing you want to do is you just want to take this whole upper section here, just kind of bring this up and forward, just to kind of start freeing things up. I need to raise the camera up so I have some room to operate. And let's get down to it. So, you want to come under here, you want to take these sections and just swing them around. Swing them around like so. You can then take the treads here and just untab them from the sides of the body. That works pretty much like the original figure. You have these new thruster sections which just they have there, as you can see, there are little posts here that do go into those ports. They don't like peg all the way in. They basically just kind of sit there kind of loosely. It's just a place for them to kind of stay put, but you can knock them out of the way pretty easily. It would be nice if that pegged in just a little bit better, but it is what it is. But you know, one of the new bits they added. And we just bring the legs down. We do have these new bits to deal with here. So you just kind of bring this out, take the section here, just kind of bring this out. And we can start working on the legs. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to take the section right here and just bring this up a bit. And then we're going to take this section here, bring that down. And you want to take all of this and all this will swing to the side like so. And you can bring all this up and forward like so. There's a thooping point for it. Bring all that down, and at this point now, you want to take this section here and just slide it over. Bring this up so you can collapse all this back like so. And this will just come down. These sections here will now come to the, ah, it's got my finger pinched. <laughs> you, anyway, so just bring these New panels forward, those just kind of wrap around the treads like that. And then we just open up his toes, and then we just take the leg and rotate it at the thigh. And there you have a leg all done. The second boss is just like the first. Again, you just kind of want to bring this up a bit here, kind of bring this up, get all this out of the way. Like this, bring this over to the side, bring all this up till it thoops. Like this, bring that down, slide this over. This side's a lot stiffer. There we go. Collapse all this back and up. Take all this, bring these panels down, wrap them around the shin like so. Open up his toes, and then just rotate all of this around, and then we have his legs all done. So now we will move on to the upper body. Now one thing to talk about is um, how the arms work on this figure. I know somebody's going to say, you, have it, you don't have it transformed right. Here's the deal. Um, with these new pieces in place, these arms don't sit where they're supposed to go. I mean, this um, this arm does still have the tab that is supposed to plug in up in there to hold that in place, like on the original toy. But the thing is, is again, with this new piece in place right here, it doesn't allow this to sit flush. This will always just kind of knock it out of whack. So it doesn't actually tab in like it's supposed to. So to have this new piece here, kind of knocks this out of whack and the instructions and the pictures on the box have it sideways like that. So it's really a case of no matter which way you do it, it's not going to sit where it's supposed to sit. So, you know, hey, that is what it is. But now let's continue on. So let us just take the arms and 
just swing them around, take the big old cannon arm here, and just swing that around like so. So now we will come back down to the gluteus maximus region, aka his robo butt. And we will take a look at these new pieces here. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take these sections and just flip them up, flip them up. And these are now gonna be filler pieces for that big gap that's in the body. So what you do is you just take this and you just bring it up like this, swing it in, turn this back in so all that is sitting flat like that. And this will just tab in right in there. So that just tabs in like so. And that's gonna fill in the gap there. So I'll do the same thing with the other one. Again, just bring that up, swing that up, and just bring all this around. Have that sitting flat right there. Tab that in, and there you go. So now we can finish up with the backpack here. Cannon just flips in. This section flips in. This section comes in like so. Just gonna bring these back. And all this will just come up. Sit up there into the body like that. And then of course we just bring the arms back and they will just tab in right up there to lock all of that into place. And now we can take his hips and just bring them up, bring them up, like so. And then we can just bring his head down, take that panel, bring it back. And now we can just finish up on his arms here, just in case of just rotating them around. We can open up his creepy little hands there, turn this arm around so everything is oriented properly. Bring out his little thumb there. Straighten those out. Get him all straightened out. And I believe we're done. Oh, we're done. Yes, we're done. We we're done. And let me get everything straightened out here on his legs. And there you go. And there you have Tank Mega Commander, aka Megatron, in his robot mode. And he looks gorgeous, in my opinion. Love the way this figure looks. I think they did a really good job. So let's get in closer. If we can, we can take a look at this beautiful mug of his. Oh, look at that. Look at that face. Look at it. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> you can see the gold there on the mouth, and nicely detailed. Love all the silver that's on this toy. The eyes are done in red. You got some gold in there. Got some gold detailing there on the chest. The chest, really nicely done with that gold, gold accents in there. And you got those gold accents throughout the figure. Right here on his cannon hand. Looks quite nice with those gold accents. You got the blue in there. And the legs. Those extra little panels there, so things are you know, a little more filled in. You got these little panels here that wrap around the treads, which looks quite cool. I like that. There's big old feet. And moving up the back, everything nicely done as well. And of course now. That big gap in the side of the body is no longer there because you got those filler pieces, which is quite nice. So yeah, all in all, really nicely done. Really nicely done in my opinion. Now articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you have some wiggly waggly. You can rotate, you can look up, can total squirrel, can totally do that. You can look down if you use that extra joint there. Arms can do a full 360, they can move in and out. You have bicep rotation, you have a bit over 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. As far as his hands go, his creepy, creepy little hands. <laughs> you do have multiple points of articulation here. These two fingers here on a joint at the base and a hinge 
right there at the center. These two fingers right here move together, and this, which I guess would be his thumb, just has a hinge right there. Now, as far as this arm goes, um, you pretty much had the same amount of articulation at the shoulder, in and out, bicep, over 90 degrees of bend there, and you just have a little thumb there on the side. Um, nothing at the waist, just due to the way he transforms. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. He can do the full splits. You got that thigh rotation. You have a joint there, knee joint there. You can move that forward if you need to. The feet do have the ankle tiltage. And like I said, they can move up and down right there. And just like the original toy, he does have the giant's blade that can flip out right there. So we can stab some primes. And an extra gimmick you get with this toy is light-up features. Yes, he has lights. He has lights. And right here behind his head, there is a switch. You just push it, and boom, his eyes glow a nice bright red. And there is also a button right here on the cannon. Push that. Woo, and that glows a nice bright blue. So that's really cool. That's really cool. You get some nice light up features there. I dig that. Ah, dig it. Ah, dig it. So there you have that. Now, the only accessory that is included with this guy is an optional uh, right arm here, right forearm, rather. And it has this little creepy little fingers here. <laughs> Still, nicely done. That silver with those gold accents there. As far as articulation, this can rotate at the wrists. And you have joints at the base, at the middle of all of these fingers. Little creepy creepy hands. And to swap it out, it is quite simple. It's just on a uh, on a mushroom peg, so you just kind of get a grip on this, and just pop it out. Take the new arm, and just pop it into place. There you go. Now he has two proper arms. Now I will say the articulation on this elbow, as you can see, is hindered. You don't even get 90 degrees on this arm. But still, it's a nice option if you want him to have two proper arms. And as always, options are good. And this arm doesn't affect anything as far as the transformation goes. You can still go into tank mode with this arm attached. You just take the fingers and just kind of, you know, just smush them together. And they end up in the same place as this arm goes in tank mode. So, again, doesn't affect anything as far as the transformation. But me personally, I like his big old cannon arm. So I'm just going to give that. I'm going to give that back to him. I'm going to give it back. I'm going to give it back. I like the option, but I dig the big old cannon with the big old blade. It's my preference. But as always, your toy, display it however you wish. So, there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Prime. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with the upscaled Evasion Mode Prime. Here he is with the Masterpiece Movie Optimus Prime. It's my knockoff, but it's the same mold. And obviously, much larger than a uh, Masterpiece toy, much larger than a Leader Class toy. Here he is with the upscaled Blackout. So you can see how they look together. Come here. Here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Starscream. So you can see how he looks there with Screamer. Here he is with the upscaled Studio Series Grimlock. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with the upscaled Last Night Megatron. Here he is with the Leader Class Megatron. 
And last but not least, here he is with the official Studio Series Voyager Megs. So again, you can see just how much they upscaled this guy. So, there you go. So there you have the Tank Mega Commander, a.k.a. the Megs. Um, you know, like I always say with these figures, it's a knockoff, but it's a really well-done knockoff. I do quite like it. Um, love the coloration on it. I think he just looks gorgeous. Um, the extra, you know, bits that they added to the legs, the filler pieces for the body, you know, all those extra touches um, are really nice. Love those extra touches. The lights and the eyes and the cannon, really cool. Quality-wise, um, you know, it, it feels good. It feels nice and solid, so no complaints there. So all in all, a very well-done figure, in my opinion. So there you go. Now, I picked this up from Sir Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your official Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Black Mamba Tank Mega Commander. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. No! Hey, wave! You know what? I'm... I'm not even going to question this. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna go out. I'm, I'm just gonna go out, get some fresh air. Hey, wave! Where, where are you going? The Golden Girls is on! Wave! Golden Girls! What's his problem?